morning, everyone. How are you? I'm Miss Karis from the Greenwood Public Library, and I have a very special guest with us today. This is Mr. Keith Bosco. He hey, is everybody. he is a children's book author, and he's here to tell us about his newest book. That's right. Yeah, my new book is called Monkeys and Bananas. So. You might know Mr. Keith's first book, The Sloppy Okapi. Um, we have it right here in our library, and it's a super, super fun book. And you might have even heard him read it before, but he just, this July, came out with the new book, Monkeys and Bananas. So I just want to ask him a few questions about being a writer. All right. So when did you know you first wanted to be a writer? Well, as far back as I can remember, I always thought it would be fun to write children's books. And it wasn't until I started having kids of my own and uh, began reading more children's books again as I was reading to them that I really started thinking about um, taking it a little bit more seriously. And, and then eventually I finally wrote my first story down, which, which is what became the Sloppy Okapi. So how did you get the idea for the sloppy o copy? So the sloppy o copy idea came from uh, my son was watching a show called Go Diego Go, and there was a little cartoon o copy, which is it's a real animal. Look it up; it's a real animal. And I saw that animal, and I thought that's a pretty cool animal. I should use that for a character. And as I was walking up the stairs, uh, it just came to me: the sloppy rhymes with o copy. So uh, <laughs> I thought that sounded cool, and then. Just the idea really hit me, and I went and wrote it down, and and then you know it, it took me five years to turn it from that little draft that I wrote in my journal to the book. But that's what became the sloppy okapi. Okay, so that tells me that it is a lot of work to write a book. Yes, yes, and especially if you know you're doing it, you know when you're doing it for the first time, <laughs> the first time that my. Monkeys and Bananas didn't take me that long, but it still is a process. Yes. So, do you draw your own pictures, or do you have someone do that for you? I do not. Um, I have I have an illustrator that I've worked with. Well, I worked with two different illustrators for both books. Um, I I like to doodle, but not necessarily draw for a, a book. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And um, what kinds of things do you like to do when you are not writing? When I'm not writing, well, my, my first love was music. Um, I like to I like to play music, um, and then I realized over the years that writing is a little bit more of a quiet activity. So uh, I kind of converted over to writing. I still like to play music when I can. Now, you mentioned you have kids. Do your kids like to write books? Well, you know, my kids tend to, over the years, they've created their own little uh -huh. uh, little books and stories, comic books, things like that. So a lot of times we'll like to try to um, sit down. If I'm trying to get creative to think about ideas for more books, sometimes I'll, I'll get them together and say, hey, let's do a little, you know, drawing time or, you know, writing time. And, and, that way I kind of be in the room with them and um, try to get that creative inspiration. That's uh, great. Yeah. And it's a great way to pass along your skills and talents to your children. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very good. So were you good at writing in school? <laughs> you know, when I was in school, I never, I never, I, I don't know if I was good or not. You know, I think I, I got pretty good grades, but... Um, it never clicked with me back then that I would actually want to be a writer. Okay. Um, it was just over the years, I really enjoyed like the creative writing activities. Uh -huh. So in hindsight, I kind of wish I would have taken that a little more seriously, but um, I do, I always enjoy the creative writing of it. Okay. Well, how did you, how did you come to write and bananas. Is there a story behind how you got that idea? Yes. So, monkeys and bananas came out of my desperation to try to get my uh, my boys to settle down at bedtime, and it was it was a pretty wild night. They weren't going to sleep. 
So I, I had them, they share, uh, two of my boys share, were sharing a room and um, they had bunk beds. Mm -hmm. So I turned off all the lights in the room and sat in there with them and I said, all right, I'm gonna tell you a story. And I just made up monkeys and bananas right then, <laughs> right then and there on the spot, just, just came to me. And uh, they, were, they were cracking up, they were laughing hysterically. So I thought, hey man, maybe I'm onto something. So uh, when I finished, they were like, say it again, say it again. So <laughs> I told it to them again. And I thought, wow, they're laughing again. Maybe I ought to write this one down. So, you know, so I, I eventually wrote it down and thought, why not? Maybe I'll turn that one into a book just to have a fun, uh, silly story. That's a great story. And you've made me want to hear the book. <laughs> Would you be willing to read it to us? Today? I would be happy to read it to you. Yes. Awesome. All right. Okay. Here, I got one right here. Get a little closer. All right. So this is monkeys and bananas. Get you here. Okay. I like monkeys. I like to watch monkeys swing from trees. I like bananas. I like to eat bananas in the morning. I like monkeys and bananas, but I don't like to eat monkeys and I don't like to watch bananas. I like monkeys and bananas in different ways. I also like my hat. I like to wear my hat every day. I like monkeys, bananas, and my hat, but I don't like to eat monkeys and I don't like to eat my hat. I don't like to watch bananas and I don't like to watch my hat. I don't like to wear monkeys and I don't like to wear bananas. I like to watch monkeys swing from trees. I like to eat bananas in the morning. I like to wear my hat every day. That is why I say I like monkeys, bananas, and my hat. Oh no, a monkey just ate my banana. Help, another monkey just took my hat. Ouch, I slipped on a banana peel and fell. Now my butt hurts, I'm hungry, and I miss my hat. I don't like monkeys anymore. The end. <laughs> and I should, add, I should note that he actually still does like monkeys. They all made up at the end. <laughs> what a great story. Did you like that? I thought it was really funny. Thank you. Well, actually, we have a great opportunity for you next Wednesday at 10.30 in the morning. Mr. Keith is going to come to the, um, the field behind the Greenwood VFW. There's a picnic table and a big field out there, and he's going to come and read the story to us. So if you want to come with your family and bring a blanket to sit on and come hear Mr. Keith read his story, we would love to see you there, and we'll have some crafts and some songs and fun things to do together. So thank you for joining us today and thank you Mr. Keith for coming into our library and telling us about your new book. Thank you for having me and I hope to see you 